Welcome to the uh, smart and the safe uh, education uh, demo, which utilizes the, the power of Avaya uh, wireless uh, networking and the Avaya IP office uh, solution, plus the Internet of Things, the IoT technology. First, let's uh, see how the safe uh, you know, school en environment works uh, in this demo. So let's say I am a teacher in a smart uh, classroom environment. So, and I carry a phone uh, with this application. So I get started um, and I sign into this application. Let's say there are a bunch of uh, students in the class already. As soon as I walk in, I already have the attendance for the class. I already know how many people are present, how many people are absent, and what is the total strength. This is possible because each of the students are carrying their uh, uh, the iPads, which are detected by these IoT devices called as beacons uh, that, that they are carrying on themselves. And there is a beacon which is sitting inside each classroom. So because of which, I automatically am able to get the attendance of uh, the students. Now, before I entered the class, the students, they on their uh, iPads have full access to the network, you know, by using the Avaya, you know, wireless access point. That includes uh, both the e-learning as well as the social media or anything over the internet. But as soon as I, as the teacher, enter the class, I am, I am immediately recognized by the beacon which is there in the class and the network now knows that the, te the class has started. As soon as that happens, the Wi-Fi access point is automatically programmed such that all the unnecessary apps, including social media, YouTube, Facebook, etc., they are blocked from the network. The students can only access their e-learning material. Now, let's see, uh, uh, you know, once, once I settle down, all I have to do is, if you, it, and, I, and I'll, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how the, the automated e-learning happens. This is my uh, uh, colleague, uh, Vigneraj, who is acting as a student here. So he has a phone with the student application. Now when I'm ready to start explaining uh, today's class uh, material, so I am going to, there are three chapters here in this, uh, in the class. So as soon as I am ready uh, to start the first chapter, I press this and then automatically the content gets pushed to all the students in the class, right? And then I go through the, you know, that chapter and uh, when I come back, I go to the second chapter, I click this, automatically the second chapter comes in. Once I'm done with the second chapter, let's say I go to the third chapter, automatically you get the third chapter also. So I am controlling, the, I as the teacher, I'm controlling what content gets uh, seen by the students. They see the content in the pace of what you know, I am teaching the class. Very simple. Now comes to the now comes the safety of the students. So let's say uh, there are kids in the class, right? Who who needs to be protected from getting into some unsafe locations? So in this smart school environment, we have Wi-Fi uh, connectivity all around the campus. We also have IoT cameras and IoT. Uh, beacons which are located in different zones uh, within the campus view and we can easily make the zones as safe or unsafe so once we do that we can track any student uh, as to where he or she is based on whether she is in a safe zone or is or she is in an unsafe zone now once you do that uh, we have the ability to you know, track if the student is in danger. So we'll show that in action. So let's say you know, you know, uh, this student here, he has wandered off into an unsafe zone. So let's show that in action. 
So while he goes and and uh, for our demo purposes, we are showcasing that he is in a uh, unsafe or a danger jo zone generator room. So as soon as uh, he goes near that danger zone, I, as the teacher, I get a notification on my phone. So you see this uh, notification here? That was not there. As soon as the student went into the danger zone, I got the notification. I can, ch I can see what's happening here. It aut automatically says the student is uh, Sarah and uh, the location, the danger zone is called generator room. So I can click on that event and the application gives me two choices. Either I can call immediately, which is what I want to do because I want to have somebody take the student out of the danger zone into a safe area. So I click this and the phone rings in all the security desks. So once I pick it up, I meaning the security agent, he or she can can be told what that uh, the problem is. The security agent will go there and he will retrieve the uh, student back into safety. But while that is happening, I as a teacher can be rest assured that the student is uh, still safe by doing a monitor. So I'm going to do a monitor here on my phone and when I do that, I automatically see the same video feed uh, coming out of the, uh, coming on this phone. So now I can safely watch this until the student is, you know, got out of uh, danger. Okay. So this uh, has given you a nice glimpse of a smart as well as a safe education environment.